Hey guys, welcome back to DevOps CI CD tutorial series. As part of this clip, let's see how to install and configure Sonotype Nexus. In this tutorial series, we want to use Nexus as a artifactory store where we want to store war files and eventually Docker images. Nexus acts like a private Maven repository and as well as a private Docker uh, repository where we can store Docker images. Here I am in my AWS management console. Let's take EC2 instance. I already have EC2 instance launched which is of type T2 medium. Nexus requires little more CPU and uh, RAM capacity so it won't work on T2 micro. That's the reason I have taken T2 medium. Let's SSH into this virtual machine. Let's open my terminal. My PEM file is in downloads. Nexus requires Java to be installed. I want to grab the actual Java package name. So I'm using mlist and searching for Java 1.8. Let's install Java 1.8. Eight. All right, let's cross verify by checking its version. The next step is to download Nexus from its download page. Google for download Sonatype Nexus. I want repository manager version 3. Go to the proper link. I want it on my Linux machine. Copy that link address. Change directory to opt. Use wget and download the tar file. All right. So use tar and extract the file and you could notice it extracted two folders nexus followed by its version and sonotype work i would like to change the ownership and the group for both of these folders so before changing owner let me rename the folder Let's make it Nexus 3. Change owner recursively. I'm using my current logged in user for managing Nexus. In real time scenarios, you can have a separate user created for managing Nexus. Okay, operation not permitted. Do it using sudo and cross verify the permissions. I mean, the ownership got changed on both the folders. The next step is to see how to start Nexus. But before starting Nexus, see, we can start Nexus like this. I can get into Nexus uh, home directory bin and I can call Nexus script by passing start. But I want to configure Nexus as a service such that I can manage my Nexus using service commands and even I can enable Nexus on my VM reboot. Whenever my VM reboots for sake of maintenance, I want my Nexus to automatically come up. From download page, you could notice installation 
run as a service. Okay. On Linux, I want to use check config, but we need to follow certain steps like run as user and creating soft link and later we need to do the other configurations for check config. Let's open nexus.rc so run as user in the doc the username is different but on my machine I'm using ECT user to run my Nexus server. Save and close. That is step one and step two is create a soft link. Copy. Paste it but make sure this Nexus path is correct. So in our case it is OPT Nexus 3 bin Nexus. That's the next step. So we configured Sonotype Nexus as a service. Now I can use service, service name and start to check status. It's running. If you notice this one, check config, add nexus and check config levels 345 nexus on. This enables my nexus to auto start whenever my virtual machine reboots. Now let's access nexus from its web browser. Exactly. Nexus uses 8081 as a default port. Let's sign in. Default username and password is admin admin. You can notice different repository formats like Docker, NuGet, EM, Helm. So Kubernetes especially. We package it using Helm Package Manager and a lot of other formats and Nexus supports actually. That's all from this video and catch you in next video. Thank you.